Uh, Professor Daniel Williams, I'm uh, Director of the Richard Burton Centre for the Study of Wales at Swansea University. And tell us, why are you here as part of uh, Sarah and Cardiff Poetry Weekend? Well, I'm here really to pay respect to some of the people who established uh, what we call Welsh writing in English as a field of study. Um, because um, at the end of the, the day today, there's the Mike Stevens annual lecture. Uh, Mike being the editor of the Companion to the Literature of Wales, an editor, a central figure in the Welsh Arts Council, you know, the whole range of work that, that Mike did Hello, to build up um, Welsh writing in English over more than half a century really and uh, this year Glyn Mathias is delivering delivering the lecture he'll be talking about his father Roland Mathias a poet and um, critic one of the key figures in the emergence of the field of Welsh writing in English as a field of study um, so so yes I during Covid uh, launched uh, published a book with Glyn a last respect it's a collection of the winners of the Roland Mathias prize that's been running since the early 2000s uh, mainly for for the best work of poetry in, in the given year so we collected um, excerpts from the winning um, the winning volumes over the years uh, and it's topped and tailed by a, by an essay by myself and, and, and Jane Aron so it's a mixture of poetry and criticism the two fields that the Roland Mathias contributed to and I'll be talking about um, the creation of the book how we went about it and we're joined by some of the po uh, poets who are featured in the book who'll be reading tonight as well so um, yeah a number of reasons for being here it sounds like quite a feast uh, ahead yeah sure. excellent excellent it's quite a week for poetry in Wales. We're here for the whole weekend in Cardiff. And then, of course, that's the first weekend of the National Eisteddfod, which will, of course, will be dominated by poetry. Are such events important to have these public events in the name of poetry? Well, sure. I mean, there's a tradition of public poetry in Wales. I mean, I don't think every poet needs to write their work necessarily. You know, some poets are better than others. But of course, there is the bardic tradition in Wales that crosses over from the Welsh language tradition into English in a sense. And it's striking how many contemporary poets are very good performers of their, of their writing, very good performance of their, of their work. Um, and, you know, we, we kind of expect that in Welsh in, in some ways. But it's also true about Welsh writing in English and arguably one of the distinctive things about it. Um, I mean, thinking of the performance of poetry in sort of global terms, it's Dylan Thomas in the 1950s who, who really gives that a, an injection. You know, he revitalizes the performance of poetry, especially in the United States, then influencing Ginsburg and the Beats and so forth. So, you know, we've got a claim on the performance of poetry in a sense um, in, in Wales. And, 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 you know, we're celebrating that here today. Uh, Athro Daniel Williams, win uh, Gavarwyddor uh, Canolfan Astudiaethau Cymreig Richard Burton am Rhyfasgol Abertawen. A beth wyt ti'n neud fan hyn yn ngwyl farddoniaeth Cardiaeth? Wel, fel ffordd, tal i gorogaeth i rai o bobl na'r sefydlu lle yn Saesneg Cymru. Oherwydd um, mae darlith flynyddol Mike Stevens yn Cymru lle a'r ddiwedd y gynhadledd ac elyn i Glyn Mathias sy'n mynd i fod yn siarad am ei dad Roland Mathias oedd wrth gwrs yn fardd ac yn feirniad ei hun. Um, dros y blynyddau dwella mae um, gwobr Roland Mathias wedi bod yn cael ei gynnal yn gwobrwyo'r farddoniaeth gorau ac yn ystod cyfnod Covid o ddweud y gwir fe gyhoeddwn ni fi a Glyn yn gylygu um, cyfrol o enillwyr yr gystadleuaeth. Uh, a last respect o ddenor gyfrol, sef teitl un o gerddi, Roland Mathias. Felly, wi'n mynd i fod ar y llwyfan gyda Glyn, ni'n mynd i drafod um, creu'r gyfrol, um, trafod rôl Roland Mathias, uh, yn creu llyn Saesneg Cymru fel maes mewn ffordd fel beirniad, a wedyn mae rhai o'r beirdd gyfranodd at, at y gyfrol yn mynd i fod yma. Ac wrth gwrs o nhw yma, beth mynnag sawl un oherwydd uh, well, y, y digwyddiad yma uh, heddi yn, yn dathlu barddoniaeth cyfoes Cymru. Great, diolch Daniel. Mae'n ma, last respect, mae copi gyda fi. So, yeah. um, beth am yr fath mae oil? Mae'n ma nitha wthnos am barddoniaeth, achos mae'r oil barddoniaeth mae'n un yn gryddydd, a mae'r steddfod gyda ni uh, hefyd. So, oedd i gweith, gweithgareddau cyhoeddus fel yna yn bwysig i'w cael y myd barddoniaeth? O, oh, heb os, mae'n gwahanol fath o falle o feirdd, yn dosau, ach mae'n rhai beirdd um, a mae'n well i'w darllen i gwaith nhw, dyn nhw ddim yn berfformwyr da iawn, ond mae'r trafodiad barddol yng Nghymru yn dieddol i fod a elfen gryf o berfformant yn, yn ei gylchau. Ac mae hynny'n bodoli yn y Gymraeg ar Saesneg, dwi'n meddwl, felly mae'n drawiadol bod nifer fawr o um, feirdd amlwg uh, Saesneg Cymru sydd yma hedd un bennaf 
yn berfformwyr da iawn o'i gwaith hefyd ac yn dod ar gwaith yn fyw pan maen nhw'n darllen, uh, darllen i gwaith. Felly, ydy, mae'r mae perfformio'n bwysig. Ddim i bawb, mae'n credu i fod rhaid i fardd darllen i waith. Ond, um, yeah, mae gallu, mae gallu helpu um, i, I rhywun fod fi'n darllen ac yn berniadu glywed y bardd yn darllen i gwaith yn, yn, yn rhoi rhywolwg newydd ar, ar y gwaith yn aml iawn.